Hey everyone, one of the coaches of Ungur Academy here and welcome back to a brand new video. As we systematic traders need historical data to test our trading systems, today we're going to be looking at an overview of data feeds that can be used for systematic trading. But before we start, I invite you to leave us a like, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell in order to stay updated on the release of all our new videos. Thank you so much. Hi, we are the Unger Academy and we teach traders how to make money in the markets. Our founder, Andrea Unger, had been struggling with trading for years until he developed his automated trading method, which he used to become the only four-time world trading champion. Subscribe to our channel for free tips and tricks. Okay, so during this brief presentation, we'll be examining some data feed that can be used in systematic trading. In order to choose the best ones, we identified a series of discriminating factors such as the quality of the data, the offer. In this case, the offer regards the variety of products offered by the various providers. The cost, which is clearly an important discriminating factor. If there are continuous contracts, because as you know, futures are maturity instruments, which therefore have maturities that can vary from one month to three months. But in general, they're contracts which will expire sooner or later. And consequently, in order to test the validity of a strategy, also in the past, we need to string together in some way, all the various expiry dates of futures in order to build a single contract to test our strategies on. Another important factor is the range of historical data. Actually, we could say that these two discriminating factors are correlated between them because we need data that refers to a sufficiently long period of time to be able to test our strategies properly. So in order to stress the strategy, let's say, we need to test on different market phases so that in some way it will be ready for any future eventuality. Then finally, we considered the barriers to entry, because as we'll see later on, not all data feeds are obvious in their use, but they do present barriers to entry, and we'll see them together later on. Okay, so let's start with the first provider, which is called eSignal. The quality of the data is definitely good. I I've never used it myself, but it does seem that they are very reliable. The product offer is also very good because it goes from the traditional CME futures to exotic products such as Far East futures. However, the cost is prohibitive. eSignal has three types of offers, Classic, Signature and Elite. We systematic traders will need Elite, which is the most expensive and costs around $390 per month, plus some sort of extended history entitlement. Here you can see it written uh, here in order to have data up to 2008. The continuous contracts are featured, so eSignal would certainly be potentially usable, also because the barriers to entry of this provider are really very low. The only problem is the cost, which as you can see here is very prohibitive and is between $200 and $400 per month for the purposes of us systematic traders. Now let's move on to TradeStation. This is the data feed that I use myself and I'm very satisfied with it. The quality of the data is very good. I've never seen any interruptions. Uh, except in very rare cases due to high volatility or special releases. When news or important economic data is released, the data feed may crash or have bugs. However, I've got to say that having, you know, having personally used TradeStation, these are very rare. The product offer is excellent because it includes futures, forex, stocks, and even the crypto market now in the last few weeks and months. The cost is very good because, well, it's basically free if you have an active account with TradeStation for all US futures. While a fee of $28 per month is charged for Eurex data. So if you want to trade on the European markets like the DAX and the Bund, for example, you'll have to pay $28 per month. Are there continuous contracts? Yes, for almost all markets. There are some instruments, such as the BTB future, for which there are no continuous contracts. However, the data exists so it is possible to create a custom future, which means artificially pasting all the various maturities to create a continuous contract. The data range is very good. It's very broad. For daily data, we even have data from 2000 on the S&P, for example. This means that you can also test strategies based on seasonal or monthly biases, because in this case, we have a lot of data at our disposal, and therefore we can also do this type of test. In terms of intraday data, well, we'll start with 2006 for the S&P and the US markets and 2008 for the rest of the futures. Let's say in general from 2006 to 2008 for intraday data. There are barriers to entry in this case. Uh, in fact, you'll need to open an account with TradeStation 
a brokerage account for futures trading with a minimum deposit that has recently been lowered to $500. So with just $500 deposited into your account, you'll be able to use TradeStation data for free for all US futures and $28 per month for Eurex futures. Let's move on to IQ Feed, which is another data feed that I've personally used and found to be very good. I mean, the data quality is very, very good. They are famous precisely for the quality and reliability, as well as for the speed of reading and executing this data. The offer is also really very good because it includes everything that we systematic traders need. So, futures and forex. The cost is high. Because unlike TradeStation, which costs around $30 a month if you have an account, you can spend between $100 to $200 per month with IQ Feed, depending on the markets that you decide to sign up for. Here too, there are continuous contracts. The range of historical data is very wide and goes back to 2008 and 2010 for all futures. These data are also being updated, but they are certainly to be considered as being good. The barriers to entry? Well, there are none. Because you only need to subscribe and download the IQ Feed client and run it with MultiChart open to be able to use the IQ Feed data feed. So surely IQ Feed is a very reliable provider indeed. It's just a pity because they charge quite a lot for the data they have, which is very good and reliable. But despite this, IQ Feed is definitely, for those who can afford it, a very good choice. Now to the next data feed called Rhythmic. The quality of Rhythmic's data is really good. It suffice to say that Rhythmic is mostly used by discretionary traders who need to operate on tick charts. Therefore, not by minutes or seconds, but by ticks. So they use extremely fast charts for short-term trading, which for us systematic retail traders aren't so important because tick data won't be used. However, I wanted to mention this if perhaps you are interested in examining this topic in more detail. The data quality, as I mentioned, is very good. Also, the offer is good on par with other providers and offers futures, stocks, and crypto. The cost is very good and the data quality provided. Costs around $50 to $100 per month. There are continuous contracts, but uh, here the range of historical data isn't as extensive as on other data feeds. We start from 2011 on the main futures, but as mentioned, in comparison to IQ Feed or TradeStation, we have less data, which could also influence our strategies and trading. Barriers to entry? There are none. Because even in this case, all you have to do is download the Rhythmic client, run it, and then connect it to the platform, uh, for example, MultiChance, to be able to use the data. Finally, let's also evaluate CQG, which is a very well-known and popular provider. Now, I've tried this provider myself in the past, and the data quality, it's average. I've heard that in recent times, the data has improved. The bugs that I experienced in live mode should no longer occur. However, I'd like to mention the fact that you know every now and then CQG, at least when I was using it, occasionally did have some problems. In case of a data release or a sudden movement, for example, the data feed gets stuck with obvious consequences on the strategies. Therefore, the choice of the data provider is really very important before going live with the trading systems. So as I was saying, the data quality is average. The offer is very good because it includes futures, cryptos, and even exotic exchanges. The cost is also good, but it depends, as I wrote, on the broker chosen. Because, for example, I used to use uh, AMP futures and the bundle to get live data of all CME products. And that was $33 per month, so it's very competitive. Basically, there are no continuous contracts, but you can ask the broker if he'll provide them. For example, I know that FXCM, which is an introducing broker of CQG, a partner of CQG, provides continuous contracts. Now, for example, AMP futures didn't provide them, and in this case, you have to create custom futures. The range of historical data in this case is variable, because basically it's three years for intraday data. However, if you want, there's another partner of uh, AMP called Portara that provides historical data going back 35 years. But, as I said, only historical data. So, Beware, because Portara can't be used live. There are barriers to entry in this case. The subscription, well, that can be very expensive if you don't go through an introducing broker. So you may spend over $200 a month in order to have a quantity of varied instruments. However, to save money, you will need a broker account with one of their partners. And about this, you'll find all the necessary information on the CQG website. And with that, 
this video is over. We really do hope that you found it useful. And if there is anyone among you who's interested in the world of systematic trading, well, I'd suggest that you click on the link in the description of this video, where you'll be able to watch a video of Andrea Unger or get our best-selling book covering only the shipping costs. Or you can even book a free call with a member of our team. And please leave us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell to stay updated on the release of all our new videos. We'll see you soon in our next video. Bye-bye for now.